The collection here, we're extending in the Cactus House by 41 feet, the Cactus House in total. We're going to have over 2,000 different types of cacti, succulents and bromeliads. And these ones here, from collections I've made in the wild, from friends in Germany and the States, are one of my most favourite areas of cacti. These are the South American Serai cacti. Now the Serai cacti are the ones that go up, right, the biggest ones in the world. To actually grow things from seed is extremely exciting. And these ones here are hardly seen in cultivation, so there's a collection that we're going to have some 2,000 different types of these plants and succulents and bromeliads will be one of, one of the largest amateur collections in the UK. Here we've got a collection of some stuff I've actually brought back myself. It's the saguaro cactus, a very slow growing one, but when it starts to branch, the classic John Wayne style cactus that you see, expect to see his cowboy hat hanging off the side, this will get to potentially three or four hundred years of age. Here's one I made earlier, about three decades late later. This is a bigger version of it that a friend gave, gave me recently. And the point with this collection and a lot of the plants I've got here is bringing back plants from, from the wilds of Mexico and South America is you've got a conservation story. You're bringing plants into cultivation, including the saguaro cactus, that is very, very rare in the wild and becoming rarer with over collection, with development of humans, with shopping centres, motorways, railway lines and so on. So there's a great need in, in cultivation to have these plants. So at Lullingston we've got 15 of this sort of size, there's some of the bigger that are over there of these plants that will keep them in cultivation and protect them if you like in, in the wild in a funny way because we've still got, got, got these plants and it's brilliant. And a lot of these ones here got two and a half thousand different types of cacti and succ succulents. Some of the plants here, they're more common here in these pots than they are in the wild. So collecting and conservation still goes hand in hand and it's still important today to prove that modern day plant hunting still continues. The extended Hot and Spiky House will be open for visitors from April 2012.